Stacking Vintage Silver. Hey guys, Patriarch Stack here, and I'm back with more content for you guys and girls today. Now, before I start, make sure you're subscribed to the Patriotic Stacker YouTube channel. Hit the like button. Don't forget to comment down below. In this video today, we're going to be talking about vintage silver, preferably Angleheart. Angleheart is great. It's one of my favorite silvers to stack. I love the Angleheart brand. By far, one of the most biggest and popular silver brand out there, Private Mint or whatever you want to consider it um, and I'm also going to show you some uh, new angle heart bars that I picked up but um yeah guys I've been stacking for such a long time and uh, this is my treat yes this is high premium stuff angle heart is vintage it's a lot of it's rare a lot of it comes with a big premium um, it's not really for stacking unless you get it cheap it's more for the collectible side of your stack um, but it holds its value and it continues to go up in price so yes I might be spending 350 on a p-series waffle back but um last year year and a half ago these were 300 bucks they continue to go up in price so I'm not gonna lose money now granted if I take this stuff to my local coin shop yes he's gonna pay me a little over spot then he's gonna turn around and sell it for 350 $400 that would be a dumb uh, a dumb way of doing things if you uh, bring it to your local coin shop or pawn shop because you're obviously going to lose money selling it that way but by pair to pair the groups on Facebook or Instagram or even on YouTube you're not going to lose anything um, those uh, Engelhart or vintage collectors are going to pay top dollar for this stuff um, and yeah it's kind of a niche but really it really isn't because Angleheart is just such a big name in our community and um, I haven't really met a stacker that doesn't like Angleheart it's just one of those brands it's the top of the top you know and uh, yeah it's my little treat for myself every once in a while I'll snag me a beautiful Angleheart pea loaf a waffle back a horizontal angle hard, a press angle hard, whatever, whatever I can find at a decent price. Now there are angle hearts out there that are go up to the five to a thousand to two to ten thousand dollar range, depending on the rarity of that bar or error on that bar. Um, I'm not that crazy over them. I'm definitely not going to drop ten thousand dollars or five thousand or a thousand dollars on an angle heart bar. Um, on an angle 10 ounce angle heart bar but um i have been known to spend some uh, big bucks on angle heart um, especially if i can't pass it up but um yeah so what's on the table here we have some uh the most common ones you can get i think these are at 300 or 400 thousand these are the commercial press bars um this one right here is the eagle logo commercial press bar this one's a little rarer than the common e um, I think this one's like 300 or 350 I like this design a lot then you have your uh, your pilos your cast angle heart bars these are really cool I think these are 200k 200,000 still quite a bit of premium on these check this one out this one's like an outstanding shape I had to seal that one because I didn't want this one to change color or get dinged up and stuff but check that out then we got the horizontal angle heart bars these are also pressed I like these a lot these are uh, I think a hundred a hundred and fifty thousand something like that or actually I think it might be fifty thousand now I think it's a hundred don't quote me it's uh it's either fifty or a hundred but uh these are in the original packaging. Check that out. And then we got the uh, P Series Waffle Backs. These are, I think, a hundred thousand, a hundred thousand. I believe these are seven series. Check that out. So here's a few of them so far, but let me show you what I picked up. Let's open it up and see what I got. 
Yeah, guys, comment down below. Let me know if you guys dig Engelhart just as much as I do. So we got another Pilof. It's a cast bar. Check out the toning on this bar. I really liked it. Nice Pilof right here. Another one added to the stack. We got a P-Series waffle back. Check out the ripples on this one. On the front. I like that a lot. I seen that I had to grab it. Nice waffle back. Now, someone stamped a two on it. Or it might have been from the mint also. Who knows? Um, but I got it for a good deal. So, And I like the front of it. I like the ripples. It's a shame if someone did stamp a two on it. I don't think that was from the mint. But, uh. It's still cool. I got it for a great price. And hey, it's still an angle heart bar. So let's add that to the waffle backs there. And then this one, this one's the the, uh, the expensive one. This this is the one I paid big money for. Um, I paid foreign change for it. But uh, it's one of those angle heart bars that you do not come by often. And there's a mintage of only 5,000. So we went through these ones already. So these ones here are in the three to four hundred thousand range. These are in the two hundred thousand range. These ones are in the fifty thousand range. These ones I think are in a hundred thousand range. So this one is only five thousand. This is a, a third series or a second series. I have to double check. I think it's a third series. Yeah, this is the third series five digit angle heart bar there's a mintage of only five thousand of these and uh yeah i paid four and change for this one that was a great deal usually they're five six seven hundred bucks so i got this for a damn good price i thought and uh yeah check that out and look look at the back that is awesome and i think the, the these ones were poured in the 70s maybe late 60s this is definitely one of the older ones. But yeah, I paid uh, good money for this one. And uh, I know it'll hold its value. I know it will continue to go up in price. So I'm not worried about it. Um, usually I, I'm a stacker. I like to get silver as cheap as I can. I like to get gold as cheap as I can. Um, but I do treat myself once in a while. But trust me, I wouldn't have spent the money on my angle hearts if... I knew I wouldn't double that money or make that money back. I'm definitely not going to lose on it. And, uh, this is definitely not the silver. If I had to sell it, I wouldn't bring it to a local coin shop or a pawn shop because then I would obviously only get spot or maybe a little over. Like I said, this stuff would be sold to another person in the community, on a Facebook group, Instagram, on eBay. I would maximize uh, the money I get back on this. I would definitely not sell it for spots. Nowhere's near it. But yeah, check that out. And let's look at the. Uh, so this is poured as well. And you have the your P series waffle backs. This is also poured. Look at the difference in size. So this one's more thicker. Um, it's not as uh, long as the P series waffle back. But you can. Uh, see here it's much more thicker it's not as long man these feel great in the hand check that out that is so cool yeah I really got this for a great price I'm definitely happy with that but yeah guys I'm a sucker for Engelhart I love Engelhart um, it's just one of those things that I, I can't pass up. And usually when I see a bar and it's a great price, I, I snag it. But um, yeah, guys, let me know in the comments if you like Engelhart as much as I do. Oh, and real quick, let's uh, check this toner out. Look at the tone on that. Isn't that freaking awesome? That is cool. Ah, I love this stuff. I love it. And, uh, 
check this out too nice 10 ounce silver town another vintage silver that I like I stack also I love the silver town um, I'm looking for the silver town that is made by Anglehart and uh, silver town subbed out some of their stuff to Anglehart and Anglehart made some bars for them this one's not an Anglehart silver town this one's just an old school silver town one um, but this is the one that uh, silver town minted um, but I'm looking for w the one that uh, Anglehart did for silver town so if anyone has it comment down below maybe we can outwork something out but yeah guys keep stacking that vintage Patriot stacker is out peace